Yes. Awesome. <coughs> Did uh, BI and uh, you know planning, little bit of supply chain in like in BPC as SAP itself, you know, like uh, uh, a where, uh, a centric technology where it will uh, intertwine the structured data and the unstructured data, both. So that is what as a SAP BPC, the SAP com BPC component, which will do the same. As a source system side, will go with the legacy, non legacy, both structured and structured both will enter time so the uh, in sap what is the biggest uh, difference with the remaining layer two technology means the source and the targets you know they might be uh, same but the uh, middle system will remain you know like it will be changing with uh, each and every module mm -hmm. okay so uh, let's take here uh, you can see the centric uh, the center uh, architecture here we have the OLTP, we have the OLAP, we have the platform services, we have the application servers and we have the business process flows and we have a separate uh, uh, architecture being developed for the SOE that is a service oriented architecture which is for uh, high level internet applications especially. So when it is considered with a transaction data processing especially when we uh, work with a BW or a Bob J thing OLTP will not you know like uh, Bob J thing OLTP will not entertain more. But for the BW, we'll go with more cubes and all the stuff for the transaction data processing. So when it comes to here in the OLAP analysis, we'll do a Microsoft-based analysis services and Oracle analytic workspaces, which are very frequently we can inter-transform the data and we we'll integrate the data, uh, high-end format reporting. So this type of things, when we need a plan structures there, we'll go with the OLAP SAP things. And rather than on the top of that, for the BPC platform, we developed another three structures, the platform services, application services, and the business process flows. So platform services, it completely deal the things which are platform oriented. That is, a structured data, it was on platform only. Unstructured data, it has a separate platform oriented. So both we can integrate here and we can work out for the, uh, the upstream system, like a web browser or a customer portals, whatever might be, the reporting should be done, it will do that. In application services, it depends upon the application that we uh, inhibit for it. So it might be, you know, like sometimes uh, FT based applications, sometimes ECO based applications, you know, that it depends upon the customer requirement. Okay. So finally, we'll, get, we'll generate the business process flows uh, in which we follow all the business product strategies and the uh, performance optimization before we generate a data model flow. So this is a simple architecture. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, next on this uh, thing, we have a service technology stack is there at the architectural level. You can see this diagram very uh, clearly it was being mentioned. We have the following services. When we consider a service in any SAP thing, we'll start with a uh, extraction based service. Like you know, in general we'll go with the R3 or SAP services. We uh, you know like as an ABAP BI guy, you might see only SAP R3 services. But here uh, we have SQL services, we have analysis services, we have reporting services, we have application services, we have file services, we have web services. Total six services we provide in our server technology stack for BPC. So each and individual services have an individual plan data. So uh, there is a point of integration for all these services. You can club to R3, you can you know like we have a multiple uh, integrating the services also there we can have individual servicing because it depends upon completely how the client comes usually as of my knowledge counts as of my experience counts I saw the people uh, the, most of the giant clients they will be you know like interesting on the SQL reporting application uh, integrating services they have to put it in a web server this is what more generally ask analysis services are you know like very uh, you know, like they are very not tentative, but they are uh, very low. Those who needs for uh, you know, like a drill downs of reports and all the stuff, when we need they will uh, separately go for analysis services. Okay. Okay. So you know the SQL service, which is a 64 bit, because in uh, you know, like earlier we uh, worked with 32 bit services for 7.x in the BPC. So now we have been upgraded for 10.0, which is 100 percent open standard. Okay. Okay, so because of its open standard, it supports the data management activities, whatever we uh, input for the SQL based services. Okay, so it will accept all the uh, data integrators as of now the technology comes with. So that is the reason BPC also, you know, integrating for, you know, like for the iPad technology or whatever the mobile Blackberry technologies that we can support to provide the mobile integration with BPC also. Okay. Because of a 64 bit uh, thing. Okay, I think so. Even uh, iPads and all these things are going 64 bits now, right now. 
So uh-huh. because uh, you know many of the users now you know like they they are very much uh, sophisticated now they don't want to put a link they want to click a link and they want to see the report means you know on their uh, simple ipad they want to review the business the business mean more flexible today so we have to provide uh, that much flexibility to the users so uh, that is a reason 10 point we have the capabilities in which it will provide all those uh, you know like uh, as a back end and a front end both okay Okay, so comes the analysis. Analysis in the self means analysis. When this word comes, we have to go with a Microsoft SQL dimension based component components, or else any Excel based services. All these things, you know, we'll do some analysis. Analysis means like we will do some business analysis, especially mm-hmm. in regard to client. What is the revenue generating? What is doing? For that analysis to do that, we we need some drill down options. The drill down we have that in the dimensional database components. Correct. Okay, so next reporting. Uh, once you know, like we have, is we have a, a wonderful reporting tool. Is there like you know, like we can have a powerful relational report generators. We have a journal audits are there. We have you know, like uh, uh, re- integrating report capabilities with uh, remaining unstructured structured data are there. So we can generate and we can export, import them, and we can have a good reporting uh, things. You know, good report plans according to the custom requirements. And application services, you know, it depends upon the application that we define. it might be a service oriented architecture or it might not be so we have to support both applications and you know especially bpc it goes with a logic based thing so we should be very much content on what logic we define for the particular customer and the particular requirement uh-huh. and for the file services you know it depends upon the files that we receive on the local drives its repository or templates or structured and structured conversions plan transformation of files you know tra- currency translations and all these things will be in the file services and web server ultimately go with xml technology and uh, you know like uh, it mostly mostly have take care of the user performance auth- authentication in web server that we have take care of the user id and passwords and providing the more level in the security for each and every data that we provide mm-hmm. uh that's about for the server technology stack okay mm-hmm. okay yeah good so comes to uh, factors uh, affecting the installation of these are these are two only mainly two factors we have to consider the sql licensing requirements that should be very very genuine and uh, the iis server that where it is located that is most important these two things we have to consider when we you know like uh, consider the services when we install the same okay mm-hmm. so we have totally three tiers for the bpc application you know generally a tier environment sap uh, we have you know like sap itself started a two tier environment then we migrated to three tier now we have a four tier environment is there but for bpc uh, we work for this three tier environment that is database application but the same thing nothing but you know we call it as a database application presentation layers right correct so the yeah. uh, the presentation was you know uh, you know like bit synonymically changed for it as a web tier which you know like for the bpc web inside that's it what are the things that will do in common the database catching the data application mailing the applications their logic applying all those things and for the uh, presentation this is a web tier will go the user interface and give the providing the insight for the what are the reports by generate what are the presentation that we want to present at the output web will do the same okay uh so yeah tell me yeah. i mean i was under impression with the tenato uh this bpc 10.0 is coming with the same netweaver stack uh, and it sits on top of bi as we have ip today uh, we mm-hmm. get the same with, uh, with bpc is it the same? is it uh, is it the right understanding i mean is it the right thing or uh, i'm sorry no. uh, i'm not getting any question what i have an impression that you know the 10.0 with 10.0 it is uh-huh. delivered as a netweaver stack saying mm-hmm. that you know it comes mm-hmm. uh, it comes with the same bw box i mean you know Uh, which doesn't need any other separate box is it right or uh not completely because you know uh, they are maintaining the, that means what your intention like they you don't need a separate box of bpc or you are expecting not for bw i'm not i'm not getting that separate right. box of bpc no no not like that not like that if that is the case and we can go with the bw plus ip right there is no exactly question for bpc I mean, yeah that's my question <laughs> like yeah is it right no, or no, no, no. that's that's say that's say you know like a gloomy statement for I don't know where you get it. That's not okay. okay. So we do, we need a separate box for BPC. Okay. Yeah. 
so uh, that is here you can observe the same thing you have a singular server the, i think so your question might be solved in this presentation i hope so so when the number of concurrent users is low you no know, like if you are setting up a developer environment no requirements separating the ms is components server in a work group at domains clusterings when all these components are needed we need a separate single server we can't maintain on a combination server like a bw or a bob jane got it so and multi server environment uh, uh, in this you know we need a users high levels corporate policies we have to go with functional components according to the corporate department structures because multi server environment you know it's a bit uh, uh, strategic and a bit confidential and finally a bit sensitive so we should be very careful with the multi server because in any server if any uh, thing was been inputted wrongly it will definitely automatically reflects the remaining servers might be the total structure might crash so uh, that is the only disadvantage in the multi server but when it's hosting the web services it do a lot of lot of uh, like advantages for us in uh, multi server environment okay so when you go with this uh, single server configuration it will looks like this Mm -hmm. and these are single server guidelines you know just a technical uh, information for you okay okay But can i, mean, I, yeah, uh, I mean, next slide yeah please any questions uh i mean this uh, server guidelines it's a uh, I mean, I don't. Know. I mean, it's not uh, depending not, on uh, the, <laughs> exactly. I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, depending on the concrete users, it may go, it may go up, or it, up, it, go, yeah. it may, yeah. may not go down, but for sure it may yeah. go up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a multi-server. I can see the multi-server. There is a different tiers with uh, integrating the services. What I said earlier. Okay. Okay. so in this multi server see this is a integration happening for the web centric the reporting services that the file sharing application server and the web server and the data server and the analysis services as i said earlier the first thing i told you that we can integrate these things we cannot uh, we can do these things right right the same is uh, explaining in this slide this is called web centric because it separates the sql rdbms from the web services 